Welcome back to Daily Devotions from Mount Calvary Lutheran Church. My name is Pastor Andrew Howe. It's a joy to be here with you again today as we journey through this large book of the Bible called Psalms. Today's devotion comes from Psalm chapter 26, another Psalm of David. Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity, and I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Prove me, O Lord, and I try me. Test my heart and my mind. For your steadfast love is before my eyes, and I walk in your faithfulness. I do not sit with men of falsehood, nor do I consort with hypocrites. I hate the assembly of evildoers, and I will not sit with the wicked. I wash my hands in innocence, and go around your altar, O Lord, proclaiming thanksgiving aloud and telling all your wondrous deeds. You know, in those first seven verses, I, I just was picturing Jesus' ministry. You know, it really, uh, if you want to know how to live your life, uh, Psalm 26 really uh, is, is one of encouragement to walk with integrity, to not uh, walk with hypocrites. But yet, the love, the steadfast love of the Lord was before his way. And as I was thinking through this of, of Jesus' own ministry and all those countless times where he sat with those hypocrites, he sat with those sinners, he, at, he sat with those folks that society had said, these are sinners and they haven't repented of their sin and they continue to walk in their sin, but yet... I think some of the misunderstanding of that aspect of Jesus is Jesus didn't want them to stay in their sin. You know, he sat with hypocrites to take their hypocriteness away. He sat with, uh, uh, you know, prostitutes and tax collectors and, and sinners of all varieties, but yet he didn't want them to stay in that identity. He wanted to give them a new identity his identity that even when we get off the bandwagon that identity that christ-centered identity is you are forgiven what a joy and privilege that is for us as christ's people we have that forgiveness you know there's many times where we don't walk with integrity there's many times we ourselves are the hypocrites but yet the beauty of the gospel uh, of Jesus says, come to me, all you hypocrites, all you sinners, come to me and I will give you rest. I will forgive you of your sins. You know, that is what the, the joy of, of 1 John 1 says. If you confess your sins, God who is faithful and just will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I do want to keep reading here because uh, 8 is one of my favorite uh, house of the lord psalm, psalm verses O lord i love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells do not sweep my soul away with sinners nor my life with bloodthirsty men in whose hands are evil devices and whose right hands are full of bribes but as for me i shall walk in my integrity redeem me and be gracious to me my foot stands on level ground in the great assembly I will bless the Lord. You know, there's an aspect of corporate worship here. Uh, let me go back to verse 8. Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. You know, there's no better place to be than coming into church, coming into God's house, coming into that sanctuary, which literally means safe place. You know, as I was talking, you know, we are hypocrites and we are sinners and, and, you know, we have done unrighteous deeds before God. But yet we get to come into God's house where his glory dwells, where his word is rightly preached and taught. And the sacraments are administered as those means, those vessels of his grace. You know, many of you know and are familiar with our sanctuary. And one of the, one of the things that you notice when you walk into our sanctuary is the stained glass. And one of my favorite things to do 
is uh, in the afternoon on a sunny day is to just walk into that sanctuary and just look around. Generally, the, the sun is shining through the glass, whether it be uh, the main uh, window pane uh, of, of Christ and, and really that, that theology of, of Christ being the light of the world, but also you know, the, that window on the right when we're looking at the altar, the Holy Spirit window. You know, God, that Pentecost, vibrant uh, light of Christ being sh shed and, and shown through the Holy Spirit. What a, what a beautiful image. We come into God's house as hypocrites and sinners only to have one thing happen. God shining his light into our life, forgiving us of all the times we have failed him to literally remind us that his son, our Savior Jesus, has walked with integrity in ways that you and I could never do. And that's the beauty of coming into God's house. I know for, for many people that's been a challenge to do over the last couple of years. And for a variety of reasons. I do want to challenge you to come to God's house. Whether it be Mount Calvary where where uh, we are located uh, right here in Warner Robins or, or wherever you are, maybe make Easter or Holy Week that time where you return to God's house. Return to the habitation of where his glory is. Because you can gather with sinners just like me for the sole purpose of gathering as people redeemed by the blood of Jesus. So let's come together. Let's gather together in God's house. Let's, let's gather together as his people where his glory is going to shine into our lives. Let's go back to God's house. Let's go, go back to that house of worship. Let's go back to where God's presence is, where his word is taught and preached, and where those sacraments are rightly administered. To show that he loves you. He cares about you. Despite of all the times that you haven't been one who walked with integrity or, or uh, without sin. But come to his house and receive that forgiveness. Will you pray with me? Father in heaven, I praise your name today, O oh Lord. I love gathering as one of your people in your place of worship, your house. It's not to say that you don't exist anywhere else. We know that you're present everywhere. You're God. But yet we come into a place and space designated to be reminded where you come to gather and dwell with us. Send your Holy Spirit into our lives this day, pointing us to Christ crucified and risen for all our sins and for your mercy and steadfast love before our eyes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great day in the Lord.